so uh, one of the most important factor that maybe people overlook is that all these itihasa texts we have two itihasas ramayana and mahabharata they have they look at their names they have a kind of a connotation that they are the authors the original authors of uh, these uh, itihasas vatmiki for example who was authored ramayana uh, you can see that the name is itself is a travel rama's ayana means rama's travel so that is vatmiki have a very a very crisp and precise understanding that uh, this is something to do with the, the travels of the hero and that is how the name ramayana comes now in, in mahabharata it is not very obvious uh, it uh, the, the one little, uh, one meaning of mahabharata is that like uh, it started as jaya which is the original the name of the original work of veda vyas it is called jaya and it has a very less number of uh, verses in inside that as it is as per as per the mahabharata itself which is mentioned like that and it uh, it grew into size in the later stage and uh, as per the research uh, my my conclusion in one of my papers is that initially it was 8800 verses when the vedavyas authored it and then when vaishampayana expanded it as a as a, as a second narrative like um, where the he is, is explaining it to janamejaya uh, the the refer it the number of verses become 24000 and then uh, the sec, subsequent stages it is uh, ugrasava sraudi who is a storyteller who is talking uh, like uh, about uh, the vaishampayana narrative into janamejaya and uh, this is a third frame tale or you can say first uh, the narrative is a conversation between sanjay and uh, uh dhritarashtra and the, that particular narrative is being described by uh, vaishampayana to janamejaya that is second level and then you have the third level where uh, ugrasava sauti after hundreds of years talking about this particular narrative that vaishampayana is talking, giving to janamejaya so there is three level kind of growth into mahabharat according to mahabharat itself and so the the name for the the narrative of uh, vaishampayana to janamejaya is bharata and when it grew further it become mahabharata means it become very big so that is one uh, kind of an interpretation but when we talk look at it from the geographical point of view there is another interpretation for it uh, that is because uh, the name there are different meaning attributed to the word bharata because in rigveda if you go there is a goddess named bharati and uh, the, there is a royal tribe named bharata and uh, many pe people are agreement that the name bharata emerged from that goddess bharati or the bharata kings so the the word uh, emerged from basically this particular uh, royal dynasty called bharata so uh, initially their domain or the where they have been ruling was uh, the uttarapada region which is the which is a it is a national highway of the ancient world 